At 644, we continue our back to school coverage on the peninsula. Town on your side's Kiana Patterson joins us live now in Hampton. And Kiana, you're at Caesar Tarrant Middle School, which was renamed earlier this year. That's right, Don and Katie. It's a big day for students here in Hampton. The Hampton School Board changed the name from Jefferson Davis Middle School to Caesar Tarrant Middle School earlier this year. Tarrant was a former slave and also a Revolutionary War hero right here from Hampton. Now, this change took about two years. In 2016, everyone on the board voted against changing the school's name, but the push for change was renewed last August after a deadly white nationalist rally in Charlottesville. The school policy says buildings should be named after people who who've made a positive contribution to the community and citizens and civil rights groups argued that Confederate leaders are not worthy of that recognition. Now, coming up in just 30 minutes, we'll have more on this, but at 8.30, the national the NAACP here in Hampton will greet students as they head into school. The NAACP president says that they wanted to support students during this transition, but now we're going to toss it over to Lex. Lex, students here in the peninsula had a little help getting ready to go back to school. Yeah, they sure did. Workers at a salon in Newport News helped kids get ready with free haircuts and hairstyles. It's their way of taking back the community. April Cofield owns Hair Envy. She says the salon served 96 students yesterday. It's something they do every year to give kids the confidence they need walking into school. However, Cofield says it's about much more than a haircut. It's about interacting with kids and setting a good example. It creates a huge bond. It lets them know it lets them know that their community is behind them. It's good for them to see adults interacting with each other that's not arguing. And you know, they see us getting along for the better good of our kids. Cofield says each kid got a backpack filled with supplies, some food, and a picture to remember their day. She says they'll be doing this all again next year.